Hey everybody, I'm Lance Koike. Today we're going to discuss a short one on just various examples of aerobic activities. Uh, marathons, anything that's longer than maybe two minutes, maybe minute even. Uh, you know, it's hard to do things for more than, uh, especially intense things for more than a minute. Uh, marathon is the easiest example. The uh, 400 meter is a bad example, but something like uh, 800 is a little bit better and anything above an 800 or longer than an 800 would be a good example. Um, other things, so like later on in team sports, that's a little bit more aerobic, especially if you're playing a lot. If you play every other shift or if you play the majority of the game, that game is going to be a lot more aerobic. You're going to get a lot more of your energy from the aerobic energy system because you need more energy and the aerobic system can make it. Uh, let's think about another one. So maybe sets of like 50 or circuit training kind of exercises. A large part of high intensity interval training. Uh, let's do it this way. So high intensity interval training. Let's say you do a, a hit class and you half ass it. That is aerobic. If I do the class full bore, that is much more anaerobic, lactic anaerobic, and we'll get more into that later on. But if I half-ass that class, it's more aerobic. Uh, other aerobic activities, just living, walking, sleeping, all of those are primarily getting my energy from the aerobic energy system. Um, moving, like picking up boxes and moving them up the stairs, um, it playing little, you know, intramural games that aren't that intense. Like that's another example. I think that's probably enough. Would you say if you have any more examples, leave them in the comments below so we can all kind of, you know, get a good feel for what an aerobic activity really is.